Appalachian Wireless now has new forward pay pricing, where you can pay up front and get the data and features you desire. Five gigabytes of data, just $39.99. Unlimited, just $79.99. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Six years ago today, two tornadoes ripped through eastern Kentucky and into West Virginia, leaving behind a path of death and devastation. In total, 12 lives were lost that day, including Greg Perry and Sean Shepard, whose young lives were taken from this very spot in Johnson County. Now, although little evidence can still be seen of the devastation today, it can still be felt in the hearts of those it affected. They were standing out here talking to the neighbor, him, his dad, and Sean, and they were making fun of the lightning because how crazy it was. And all of a sudden they heard something sounding like a train and they ran in the house, that, through the fence, into the house, through the doors, and his dad closed the door and they had hit the ground of the computer room. And the next thing, when his dad closed the door, the house was gone and the boys were gone. There's still just a piece missing. Um, Greg was my father figure. He wasn't my brother. He always made sure my needs were met before his. I um, have a son now, and everything about him reminds me of Greg. Um, his personality, even when he was born, his looks were just like Greg. Officials with the Johnson County Emergency Management say that if anything positive can be taken from the tragedies here in Johnson County, it's the enhanced weather awareness the community now has. Our communities and our county are definitely more aware of the weather conditions and we've uh, so far been able to uh, install three outdoor warning sirens. We've got the uh, code red uh, emergency alert system uh, that the folks can call in and sign up on and uh, to where they will get instant notifications from the weather service when a tornado warning is announced or a flood warning or, or even just a severe storm. To sign up for the Code Red service in Johnson County, call the number listed on your screen. In Johnson County, Sean Allen, EKB News.